Talk Morning Show with Glenn and Tracy, and we are joined by Rachel and Missy from the Binghamton Ooh. Zoo. So who's your friend? This is CJ, and he is our resident groundhog at the zoo. And what's so special about CJ? We are celebrating CJ today because February 2nd is actually Groundhog Day. So we thought we would bring CJ around uh, to the media. He is actually being proclaimed the official Groundhog of Broome County by Debbie Preston. Oh, that is so cool. Yes. Does he have a very special top hat that he gets to wear or anything like that? <laughs> Nothing official. Nothing official like that. So uh, is CJ going to be the official Broome County Groundhog weather predictor? Yes. He will actually come out and try to predict the weather for the upcoming months. Um, it will be posted on our Facebook page, so keep updated with that. Is Very there, cool. Is there any training for that? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nope. look. Oh, so yeah. good. <laughs> all, food training. It all comes naturally for him. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about groundhogs because I will admit to you, um, I took a couple pictures of you guys. You didn't know I was taking photos, but I was taking pictures of you laughing at me because for some reason <laughs> this groundhog freaks me out, and I don't know why. I don't know why, but um, he's not a scary little dude. No, he's cute. Now, groundhogs dogs are rodents and they are native to North America and um, actually when European settlers first came over and wanted to bring the tradition of, um, it was originally called Candlemas, but Groundhog Day, um, their original groundhog were actually European hedgehogs. Really? So they found the groundhog and the groundhogs are true hibernators so they sleep all winter long and so they thought that they were very regal and, and so they, they made them the... Uh, official winter uh, weather predictors for Groundhog Day. So how, how old is uh, CJ right now? He's only 10 months old. Look how so big he is. So they grow very quickly. He, he looks like a baby eating. What is he eating right now? These are called um, rodent blocks or rodent biscuits. Mm. Um, they are fortified specifically for rodents. And because rodents' teeth always grow, um, he needs to always constantly chew. So it's uh. kind of a hard material and it's also good for him. Uh, to chew on these. Rachel, you were telling me something really interesting about uh, the groundhog in Punxsutawney. Yes. Punxsutawney Phil, the official groundhog, is actually 125 years old thanks to a magical potion, I guess you could say, that they feed him every summer. That is so cool. So they're going to get some for uh, CJ here and so keep him around a while? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I think this is really fun, you guys. Yes. Now, if people want to find out more about the groundhog and other things you have going on at the zoo, what are the best ways uh, to do that? To find out more information about the zoo, you can always uh, look on our website, which is rossparkzoo.com, and then any of our social media. Uh, we always post daily to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. We try to post videos and pictures of all of our animals, so you can keep up to date with them in the winter. And for those who may not know where you're located, where are you at? We are at 60 Morgan Road, um, right next to the Discovery Center. Thank you so much for coming in Thank and you. introducing Bye. us to CJ. Bye. 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 <laughs>